So I'm going to start things off say welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been uh, showing this series. I know we're we're in the high number of parts now. So uh, just, man, it's awesome to have you guys kind of experience the game with me. And I think once I beat the game, I think it'll be one of those that I'm really glad that I committed so much time to finishing. So, all right, guys, I love you. And let's get this. All right, guys, I'm over here about to uh, start up this next main mission. It's the only one left on the map. I feel like this is going to be a doozy. Anyways, let's get it, guys. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Nice. I can't stop playing this game. I think it, honestly, is probably my favorite game of the year. I didn't know if it'd be this or God of War Spider-Man, but it's, man, it's... That's cool. Girl. It's so this tough, because in the moment, I enjoyed really I each one. I some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Hold on, let me take that off the map. I marked it just so I could get here quickly. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I'm so glad the game lets you put it in, like, cinematic mode when you're just kind of traveling around. Like, this right here wouldn't have been possible. I, I kind of wonder how they did it, though, because it's so random. It's really nice, too. But I think it might be a cutscene because I can't get out of cinematic mode now. 
Yeah, it has to be. Can't, like, I'm kind of curious Here what's going to happen at the end There's of this game. Like, I don't ahead. know how we're going to be able to free roam and stuff. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. This way. I have a feeling this is trying to be tried like be a peaceful thing, but uh Yeah. We're gonna find out. <sighs> Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're, uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting-looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr., um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr., I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Listen... We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <gasps> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Reigns, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Peek out. Seems here we like go, guys. For West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Or removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does... Favors care about the Indians. Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I mean, Arthur looks so sick. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all. 
and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Oh, I boy. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Just let him go, okay? I'll kill you. Open fire! Ah! This one. I already knew this shit was about to hit the fan. Well, I did actually pop some healing. Hold on. There we go. Get my rifle. I need to clean my weapons, I forget about that. Look out behind, they're catching up! Got one behind us. Yep. More incoming! Left and right, here Man, we go. Please hold your hey. <laughs> the double headshot. Oh shit, be careful. War's gonna keep dropping. Good thing I slept and everything. Where they're all sprawled out around me. Oh my god. More on the left! Head for the tree! What the horse? Oh shit! Is my horse alright? All right, my horse is gonna flee. Actually, let me just get off my horse. I don't want it to get hurt anymore. Over here, Arthur. Don't get split up. Go to hell. All right, behind us. Hold on. What are you doing? Fire! Oh, there's a couple actually. Perfect. As long as they're all together, I'm happy. And when it's all like they're all around us, then you can't really do much. We got to the right. How can be Find a low, then make for the valley. Just hold. Oh my god, there's a whole wrecking crew of them. One for you, one for you, one for you, you. I don't know if I can get them all. Yeah, there we go. I'm talking about. I think I've. Oh, there's more. I forget about that. I don't know if it was just like the section earlier. Maybe he was how he was sitting, but Arthur's here like he was kind of thinning a little bit. Captain Monroe, you're I don't know. Maybe it's just like the camera angle. All right, mount your horse. Tearing through this tobacco. I need to go back to the town area and get some more stuff. Hop on, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. Yeah, my horse is like sliding. <laughs> yeah. What, are the, what is he doing? I, I'm like trying to go uh, straight and he keeps going right and left. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get out of here. It's like the horse is kind of being controlled by the game. I'm not really doing too much. Why can't I mark that guy? Maybe he's dead already? I don't know. Hold on, what? Yeah, I can't shoot or anything. Oh, he's dead. Maybe it's the guns? Okay, he was supposed to do it anyway, so. I think we're finally in the clear. 
Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? I'm... I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run too. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Why does this feel like some kind of farewell tour, you know? Alright, let's see what we got. I already know that was kind of a sloppy mission or whatever. Okay, the 9 minutes, 75% accuracy, any health items. Wait, what did I say? Did I say kill the- I think they said kill the pursuer's horse. Why do I want to do that? I'll never get gold on that one. Oh wait, we got something right here. Hold on. I gave him some money, so... What the next mission is. Uh, I'll nice to see you. I have a bounty. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. <laughs> Might as well pay it, right? It can't hurt. So why was the icon there? Was it just okay? It was probably just for the thing. I could probably take train tickets to get 
to the next section I need to go versus having to... Wait, where? Oh, is it all the way back there? Charles Smith. So I wonder... Let me see if I have the option to go there really quick. Alright, train tickets. Let's see. Train's currently unavailable, so... Man, it's a long ways away. So why is the train's not functioning? Thank you. I wonder if it's because I detonated that bridge a while back, you know? I don't know how much of an effect that would have on these routes. Man, I'm telling you, to get to these different places... Takes a long time. Can't really fast travel there. Man, that's, uh, that's... <laughs> we're in for another journey. But yeah, that, man, these past few missions have been a lot shorter than I anticipated, so... I don't know if it's building up to something big or what, but it seems like he was saying farewell to, like, everybody. Giving people money and stuff. Oh, no. What is this? You know what? Last time I helped somebody, they held me up hostage. Oh, I don't want to take somebody to town. Hands up now. Look at this shit. Are you kidding? I ain't gonna repeat myself. Hold it. Yes, you got me, lady. No, you don't. Wrong got mark, it. folks. Hold on. Friend dad. This happens so much more often than I care to like. I don't know, it's just like, it's weird, it's like, you get held up so many times. Only had a dollar. Come on. This is where they were trying to rob me, you know? 